In Plato's Republic, he talks um, about the myth of the ring of Gyges. Um, Gyges could put a ring on and turn it around um, and become invisible. Um, and then do whatever Gyges wanted to do, uh, which included in the myth um, seducing the queen um, um, in the, uh, the realm in which he, he lived. Um, the kind of scientists I think we want are the people who can be trusted to wear the ring of Gyges, um, the people who can be trusted to do the right thing when no one is looking. It's important for researchers to understand that there's a process by which we go through to get answers. And that process we call the scientific method. The scientific method doesn't force an outcome, but say these are the rules of engagement that we expect scientists to do in order to get an answer that is validated by some means. Um, I think we all have that temptation. We have our aspirations for how the the experiment is going to come out, uh, we have a hypothesis, uh, we have our own biases and, and, and ways of thinking that, oh, that outlier there, you know, we can really just discard that and throw that piece of data out and then everything else fits neatly along the line as I expected. Um, so I think that's a temptation that um, every scientist has to um, confront the data um, as they are and report it um, uh, honestly. Obviously when investigators design their research or think about their research goals, they think of the beneficial uh, outcomes of that research and the impact it will have on science and society. But it's really important for investigators to also consider the potentially unintended uh, misuse of the technologies or findings of their research. It's important for scientists to be aware of the ethics of the work that they're doing. Some cases it might be very obvious that I'm working on some kind of an experiment for nuclear reactions that get into a whole debate whether or not is society ready for some destructive force. But at the same side of the coin, it could be used for peaceful means. 2002, some scientists synthesized from scratch the polio virus. They basically synthesized nucleic acid molecules and transfected it into cells and voila, they got the polio virus out. And in publishing this work, it, there was concern that um, the fact that you can do this wasn't the main point. It was, it was rather that, uh, that there's great potential benefit to come from this type of technology because you can now explore the generation of vaccines and understand better how the virus works, etc. So again, it's, it's the same finding, but it's how you emphasize that finding and how you report that finding. I think as a scientist, it's very important that we communicate our, our, our results and our work clearly and transparently to the public. Um, first, of one, first of all, particularly here at Argonne, but elsewhere, we receive funds from taxpayers. And so we owe it to them. It's their money that funds our work. So we owe it to them to be transparent and clear and as, as easy to understand as possible. It can be difficult to allay concerns about things like radioactivity. Uh, in the case of particle accelerators, that usually isn't any kind of a danger to the general public at all. But the, the key question here is, uh, how do you make them believe that? And uh, uh, just as it is difficult for us to convey to the general public, and I think this is also an ethical obligation, uh, convey to the general public uh, what our research means and what our findings mean, and to do this in understandable terms, uh, which can be very difficult when you have a very arcane subject, but it's important for us to communicate in understandable terms all of the impact that our research has on the public. So I believe scientists must consider the ethical and moral issues that are related to their research. And I would, I would say that the scientist doesn't necessarily have to alter their uh, research direction, but rather should uh, keep in mind the moral and ethical issues when reporting and communicating their findings. And if we're really concerned about um, a dispassionate, disinterested uh, pursuit of the truth, um, then we'll be the kind of people who could wear the ring of Gyges and um, have a better shot at figuring out what the truth really is.